a look at the baby squirrel, guys. So, guys, now the dog has got a scent. Now, just there and there. Now, they're made by something stabbing into that, for sure. Can you see that there? That there, pick it up. Appears to be a deer antler. Today we find ourselves in the South Downs National Park. South Downs National Park is packed full of all different types of wildlife and all different types of trees. From oak trees to ancient yew trees, sweet chestnut trees, beech trees and even the pine forests. Join us as we explore today and see what types of wildlife we can find in this national park. can go to work in a minute and we'll see what she finds. Leave, don't drink out of that. Don't drink out of it, we'll come. So we've got all these pine cones here, guys. Go look at the baby squirrel guys. Grey squirrels nest twice a year in late winter and summer. They commonly have litters of three to four pups and if you find a baby squirrel on the floor and you take it from where it was found to a wildlife rescue centre, there's a new law that prohibits the squirrel ever being able to be returned to the wild. As we approach this bend, we could hear a sound what sounded like a cuckoo. Now, lots of people believe that cuckoos live in clocks, however, cuckoos don't actually live in clocks. They arrive here from Africa during late March and early April, and they're known, or famously known, for stealing and laying eggs in other birds' nests. Right, now Callie's picking up a scent, and you'll notice the head goes down and drops. Should probably take us to some areas where deers are now. The average lifespan of a stag is normally anything up to 25 years. However, the average lifespan of deers in the wild in general are normally three to five years. Now this is normally caused by humans. This is a red fox. Red foxes are mostly nocturnal, although sometimes they will venture out in the daytime. The red fox is unlike other mammals. It hears low frequency sounds very, very well. It can hear small animals digging underground and will frequently dig up the dirt or the snow to catch the prey. This is where we're more likely to find traces of deer. areas like this guys. Come. Okay. Notice how Callie's head will drop and she'll turn and start sniffing any branches or anything that would have been hanging out. This is where she's starting to pick up the scent of any animals that would have come through here earlier on today. Oh wow look at these guys what I've just spotted up ahead. So just here we're coming to an area that looks like it's covered in these wild flowers. Now these wild flowers are actually called primroses. Let's zoom in for you. Wild primroses like these are protected by law, so anybody who intentionally uproots or destroys these wild flowers, they will be committing an offence. These primroses are known as flowers of the fairies. Okay, 
I pick up this trash? Found a lot of deer poo. You can see just there on the floor. So there would have been deers probably come through here. There's loads of it. Loads of it all on the floor. So guys, now the dog has got a scent of the, the deer poo. So you'll notice the head will keep moving down, going lower. You can see how the mud on the ground has churned up as well. So we just make our way through. What I'm doing now is I'm keeping my eyes open for any large flattened areas along with where the dog goes and large trees and any scuffs in the trees. Deers normally shed their antlers in between April and the beginning of May. When an antler is ready to drop it's normally pushed out by new growth from below and you'll tend to see deers rub and grind their antlers against trees causing marks in the bark of the trees which normally gives you a sign in what sort of area to be looking to find these fallen antlers. It is most common to find antlers near a food source for deers, a water source for deers or an area very close to where they sleep. I notice on this area here, on this tree, can you see how we have scuffs in the tree and this probably would have been caused by deers rubbing their antlers on these trees. So a good place to look is around this sort of flattened area on the floor for any fallen antlers. Just on this tree here, as I'm walking through, actually we have cuts on this tree just here. I'll point them out to you. Now just there and there. Now they're made by something stabbing into that for sure. So I notice the dog's head's gone down. Right, I'll just sit you down guys. I think Callie's found something. So did you see that? Did you see her head and her nose go down? She keeps going back to that spot. What have you found? Have a look. Sit. Oh, good girl. Well done. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit down. So guys, I'm not sure if you can see that there. So the chances of finding something like that is like a needle in a haystack. Let's just zoom you in guys and show you what Callie's just found here. Now. This is the tree I noticed with these marks in. Can you see these marks? And just here is where she dropped. And look down. Now, can you guys spot that on the camera? Because of the Dunar blend in, they're very, very hard to find. Now, I wouldn't stand a chance if my dog couldn't pick up the scent, but can you see that there? That there, pick it up. Appears to be a deer antler. Doesn't it? Good girl, yeah. Well done. You found it, didn't you? Yes, you did. Look at that, guys. Okay. You can actually see where that would have gone in. And that would have been the two marks there from this antler. Hence why it probably fell just there next to this tree. So that's what you're looking for if you want to get out and you want to get in the woodland. But as I say, without a dog, I didn't see it down there when I was looking at the tree. So it's like a needle in a haystack. If you haven't already, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. So make sure you tap that subscribe button because we've got lots more fun stuff coming to the channel. And if you really enjoyed this episode, then tell us in the comments and we'll come back out and we'll come out a bit earlier on in the daytime when the midges aren't about, and we'll see if Callie can find us any more of these deer antlers. But I'm Leg, thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you on our next adventure. Bye guys.